Dear Christopher, here is your friend Thomas the Tank Engine. He wanted to come out of his station yard and see the world. These stories tell you how he did it. I hope you will like them because you helped me to make them. Your loving daddy. Duck was cheerfully shunting trucks in the yard. When he stopped at the water tower for a drink, a nasty surprise rolled up to him. Hello again. Sir the Diesel. Your uh, fat controller sent for me. I suppose he needs someone to haul the heavy loads. Duck was indignant. We can haul, I'll have you know. He huffed. <laughs> really? Chuckled the Diesel. <laughs> Look at you. You're sitting in a yard for goodness sake. Of course, it wouldn't matter if you did work. You are a kettle after all. But only steam engines need shunters for their yards. We diesels do the real work, as well as your little playtime. Shunting is real work, retorted Duck. We get your train sorted. Without us, you wouldn't pull anything at all. The diesel scoffed. I'll tell you this, Puffball. You won't see a premium engine like me idling in the yard doing nothing. We diesels are reliable. With that, the diesel oiled off. Duck's good mood was dampened for the rest of the day. The diesel had been called in for goods work, of which he managed easily. The big engines took no notice until Sir Totten Hat let the diesel pull the express. This made Gordon furious. And to make matters worse, all the passengers were warming up to the diesel. Look at me, he called to the steam engines. Your poor passengers mustn't have a clue what it's like to be early. <laughs> oh well, it's a good thing I'm here now. Perhaps I can save this railway before it's too late. Too late, spluttered Henry. What a despicable thing to say. We run this island, fumed James. Not that box on wheels. But the engine's protest didn't matter. People flocked to see the diesel in action, and this made him very proud. One morning, the diesel slinked into the station and pulled up to the platform. He waited for a tank engine to arrange his train, but no one came. The diesel grew impatient. I know these steamers are worn out, but can't they at least do the easy jobs? He waited and waited. Finally, the station master walked up. Sorry, he said. All the tank engines are busy right now. You'll have to fetch the train yourself. Psh, me? Said the diesel. Fetch a train myself? I'm far above that. And I was told you're far above being late, too. If you don't get your train, that won't be the case. The diesel sighed and reluctantly rattled away to find the coaches. He found the yard to be quite complicated. It was a struggle getting around the many points and switches and finding the right siding. At last, he did. Psh, about time, muttered the diesel. Instead of coupling softly, he gave the coach such a biff that he knocked himself right off the rails. Ouch! That's done it, called the driver. You are a terrible shunter. The diesel was cross. I'm not made for me now work like this, he grunted. When the yard foreman saw what happened, he scolded the diesel severely. You silly great engine! You've wrecked my yard! Where's the crane? whispered the diesel. Breakdown cranes aren't around now, replied the foreman, because the steam engines aren't as klutzy as you. You'll be stuck in the yard until we can clean this mess. The diesel said nothing. He just looked away. 
He spent all day in the yard. Engines would laugh as they passed. And Diesel felt very embarrassed. It was evening by the time Duck arrived with the breakdown train. He found the situation rather amusing. Hello, Diesel. Oh, what's this? Sitting about doing nothing? I thought premium engines are meant to do real work, not idle in yards. But I suppose not all of us are so fortunate. Duck lifted the diesel back onto the rails, and as soon as he was put down, he scrammed right out of sight. At the shed, Sir Topham Hat gave the diesel a good scolding. You are a very naughty engine. I do not have a place on my railway for engines who can't perform the simplest of tasks, yet parade around speaking a big game. You will leave first thing tomorrow. Whatever you say, fatty, murmured the diesel under his breath. The other engines thought diesel was lucky and Sir Topham Hat didn't hear. The next day, everyone gathered at the big station to see the diesel off. You won't be missed, laughed James. That's a guarantee. Good riddance. Oh, but I'll be back, scoffed the diesel. And you won't be laughing then. Well, that'll be quite a while, said Duck genuinely. In the meantime, perhaps you should learn to be a premium engine. Should be easy for a diesel, shouldn't it? The diesel rather hoped it would be.